On January 26th, Masters of the Air got released on Apple TV+. And so far, it's been well received, mainly because of its visual effects. More specifically, the air battles. But how did they create the flight sequences, and why does it seem so real? To answer that, we first gotta land. Guten Morgen, Anna. Ich habe kürzlich für einen ihrer Kollegen die Erlaubnis erhalten, die Produktion der Luftsequenzen aus Herrn Spielbergs Projekt zu zeigen. Darf ich rein? There it is. The first thing the producers of Masters of the Air did was use on-set virtual production to film the flying scenes, a type of entertainment technology that is otherwise known as OSVP or the volume which consists a number of LED displays that serve as a set backdrop and continuously displays images and videos. It is comparable to an upgraded green screen in certain aspects. But on top of the OSVP, CGI was also used, most likely to add in other planes and explosions. Otherwise filming would be very dangerous. And the OSVP to simulate the sky. And even on top of the OSVP and the CGI, there's still one bonus element that still brings more excitement to the screens. And that is the simple use of practical effects. Although CGI can do amazing things, practical effects were still used as a few additional cockpits, a few new aircrafts, the plane's fuselage, and the positions of the tail gunners were built for real. So by sitting in a real cockpit with buttons and levers, the cast of Masters of the Air was able to truly immerse themselves in the experience rather than just being surrounded by screens. All in all, this gave Masters of the Air a much more authentic sense for both the actors as for audiences. <laughs>